But we begin tonight with a developing story. A load of weapons, including grenade launchers, discovered by police in New Jersey. Tonight, authorities are trying to figure out exactly what the man was plotting. Eyewitness News reporter Lucy Yang is in the newsroom tonight with the details. Lucy. Well, Liz and Bill, this much is clear. He was armed for war. Tonight, he is under arrest and officials are breathing a sigh of relief. It is not clear how close he was to attacking, but apparently he had enough ammo to wreak major havoc and tragedy. We want to show you a picture now of 43-year-old Lloyd Woodson from Virginia. He was arrested this afternoon in Somerset County, New Jersey, thanks to an alert resident who called the police to report a suspicious person. An officer confronted Woodson at a convenience store in Branchburg, New Jersey. We're told Woodson made a run for it, but was eventually subdued without shots being fired. Police say hidden inside his fatigue-style jacket was an assault rifle. Worse yet, when they searched his motel room in Branchburg, New Jersey, detectives found a huge and shocking arsenal of weapons, including a grenade launcher, hundreds of rounds of ammunition, a police scanner, a Middle Eastern headdress, and maps, including one of a U.S. military installation. Eyewitness News spoke with the Somerset County Prosecutor Wayne Forrest on the phone just a short while ago. Whenever you deal with any individual who has those types of weapons, uh, these are weapons of mass destruction, They're weapons that are uh, semi-automatic, 50 calibers, uh, military-style caliber uh, type of weapon. And uh, these are weapons that could penetrate um, cars, metal, uh, bulletproof vests for that matter. Uh, they're, they're very uh, dangerous types of weapons. Again, we cannot underscore enough that officials consider his cash weapons of mass destruction. His motive, not clear at this hour. ABC News is learning Lloyd Woodson may be a former Navy veteran who went AWOL in the late 1990s. The Joint Terrorism Task Force, ATF, and FBI have all been contacted. And, of course, any new developments on this case we will bring to you first thing tomorrow morning at 5 a.m.